Bible prophesied that Christ's blood would be sprinkled on the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant, but as it was to be kept secret until our time, it was partially, but not totally, hidden in symbols. Matthew recorded an earthquake at the cross, which formed a crack in the ground below it. John tells us that when the Roman soldier pierced the side of Christ, blood and water ran out. The blood and water apparently ran down the earthquake crack. The prophet Isaiah wrote that Jesus, when he was bruised and broken, would sprinkle many nations. Jesus himself said, when he initiated the communion service, that he would enter into a covenant with all people through his blood, the blood of the covenant. The blood would confirm this covenant. When Jesus became the sacrifice, he sprinkled his blood himself, and thus fulfilled the role of the high priest. He then became both high priest and victim. Paul told us that Jesus confirmed the covenant in the same way as Moses confirmed the old covenant with the Israelites. In Exodus, we can read how the first covenant was confirmed. In his letter to the Hebrews, Paul writes how Jesus confirmed the everlasting covenant in the same way that Moses confirmed the covenant between the people and God. Whereupon neither the First Testament was dedicated without blood. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of calves and of goats, with water, scarlet wool, and hyssop, and sprinkled both the book and all the people, saying, This is the blood of the testament, which God hath enjoined unto you. He took blood and water, and sprinkled it upon the words of the covenant. This symbolized two things, that these very words, written in the book, are the covenant and the blood symbolized forgiveness for breaking that covenant, as the blood from the sacrificed animal was always a symbol of Christ. Scarlet wool and hyssop represented the true mission of the sacrificial lamb. In the Bible, we're told that wool symbolizes purity and scarlet symbolizes sin. So just as the wool became scarlet, thus Christ, the innocent lamb of God, took upon himself our sin. In the scripture, hyssop is a symbol of cleansing. Jesus took our sins to cleanse us. From this ceremony, we know exactly what to expect in the anti-type. According to the type, we can expect Jesus to confirm the true covenant by sprinkling his blood and water over what now makes up the covenant, while simultaneously offering himself to cleanse people from their sins. These people he confirmed the covenant with were therefore asked by Christ to keep the very words of that covenant. John reveals to us a secret. He tells us that the blood and water is here on earth as a testimony. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the spirit and the water and the blood. And these three agree in one. If we receive the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his son. The prophet Isaiah is connecting Jesus' death on the cross to a time where he will sprinkle many nations. Isaiah continues on to say that this will one day be revealed and will leave even the world's rulers utterly speechless. Thus he will sprinkle many nations. Kings will shut their mouths on account of him for what had not been told them they will see and what they had not heard they will understand. When the prophet Daniel was given the task of prophesying of the coming Messiah he made a clear reference to the mission of Jesus to finish the transgression, and to make an end of sins, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to seal up the vision and the prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. It's also written that when Jesus died, the curtain between the holy place and the most holy place was ripped in two, but the Ark of the Covenant was not there. Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost, and behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent. Right before the Babylonians besieged Jerusalem and destroyed the temple, the ark was hidden. The very ark of the covenant, with the testimony of God, or the law, that the people had broken, and that we need atoning for. God knew where Jesus was to suffer and die for humanity, and 600 years before the crucifixion, he hid the ark right under the Golgotha escarpment.
So what does this discovery tell us? Well, for God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God really did give his Son to take upon himself the punishment for our sins. But this discovery tells us much more. It tells us what God's covenant with us is, and what law we have broken and need forgiveness for. But it also tells us what the covenant with us is not.